breach a homicide investigation at Fashion Island. Hello, I'm Ellen Leva. We have confirmation, uh, perhaps, that it happened right there at that popular shopping mall. Let's go right to Orange County reporter David Gonzalez, who is there live. And David, what have you learned so far? Hey, right now we are about to hear from Newport Beach Police and also the mayor of Newport Beach related to the reports of a shooting here at Fashion Island. We can confirm that one person has been killed here at the mall, but we are getting ready for the public information officers to um, to give us some information as to exactly what took place. But I do want to point to some Air 7 video from earlier today. I can give you some background information as we wait. This all started around uh, 4.39, this, excuse me, 3.39, uh, 4.39 this afternoon, excuse me, here outside of Fashion Island. Uh, if you know this area, there is an area where Barnes & Noble and Whole Foods are at. Uh, in this area, um, we got information that there was reports of a possible shooting. Uh, here, I'm gonna toss it over now to Sergeant Oberon, who's given us an update as to what took place here at Fashion Island. Today at about uh, 3.30 in the afternoon, there was a couple, a husband and a wife at Barnes & Noble. They were approached by two suspects, and uh, there was a struggle, and uh, they were robbed. A white uh, Toyota Camry sedan then pulled up, and the suspects tried to get into that vehicle uh, to flee the scene. One of the suspects ran while the vehicle fled and actually struck uh, the female victim. Subsequent to that, uh, the male suspect that ran got back into the vehicle, at which point some rounds were fired from a handgun, and the vehicle fled the scene. Fortunately, no one was struck by any of the, uh, the handgun rounds. Unfortunately and tragically, the female that was struck by the car uh, was pronounced deceased. Newport Beach police officers then ensued once they picked up that vehicle uh, in a pursuit which took them into LA County, I believe Cypress in LA County, and all three suspects have been captured. At this point, there's no outstanding suspects, there are no threats to the Newport Beach community, and we, we have a confirmed robbery. The female victim was approximately 69 years old. I, I don't have any information on that as it's an active investigation and we still have several detectives and uh, other agencies assisting with the Newport Beach Police Department to fully investigate this. One of the suspects, yes. How many suspects total? Three suspects total, and all three in custody. And the victim, the 69-year-old woman? Uh, the deceased is, is a 69-year-old female, yes. Okay. If anybody has any information pertaining to this incident, what's the best phone number for anybody to contact? Yes, please contact the Newport Beach Police Department. If anyone that left the area and has not been contacted by a detective or a Newport Beach police officer, please contact the Newport Beach Police Department. Was the victim trying to get in front of the car to kind of stop the vehicle, or was she trying to get away when she was trying to do a what led to her, or she being struck by the vehicle? There was a struggle, and uh, at this point, we believe the suspects dragged her into the street. Say that again. No. The suspects were out of the vehicle and they, they drug her into the street. I don't have that information at this time. They're still actively investigating it. I don't know if you brought this up yet, but what vehicle did the suspects drive? Or what kind of make and model was it? It was a white sedan. Uh, I have not. And until we confirm their identities, I can only tell you there are three male suspects. I do not. I believe one was in Cyprus, 
and the other two were in LA County. And just quickly, I know there was a chopper overhead. Can you rehash uh, what took place at when you guys first got the call? There was a reports of a robbery, right? That's correct. Can you walk us through what took place again? Just because their choppers were loud. Just to, just to hear that out, sorry. So there was a, uh, a male and female, a couple, husband and wife, that were in front of Barnes & Noble. They were approached by two male suspects on foot. There was a struggle, and uh, they were attempting to rob them. At which point, the two suspects attempted to get back into a white sedan. One of the suspects ended up fleeing on foot, firing a few rounds. And when the vehicle fled the scene, struck the female uh, in the street. And then the other, the third suspect got back into the vehicle and all three fled uh, and, and, and left in the vehicle. And describe the Corvish's response. Obviously, this is a very popular area uh, visited by many families. What was the response from the Corvish police? Uh, every available officer, detective, supervisor responded to the scene, to the area, to ensure that we help everyone possible, provide any medical attention, and uh, make sure that we ensure a complete and thorough investigation. I don't have an update on, on the husband. I, I was told that he did not have any injuries, or at least any visible injuries. So the victim was struck by the vehicle, not get, get it back out of time. That's correct. Was the upper fire like half the couple? That I don't know. How many rounds were fired? I don't know. They have multiple rounds were fired. I don't have an exact number. I believe this whole east side of Fashion Island is closed off for the investigation. So wherever there is not yellow police tape, there, if that would be up to uh, Fashion Island if they want to allow people to. But I believe it's open at this time. Come have your name and title, please. Steve Oberon. And I'm a sergeant in PIO, Newport Beach Police Department. Thank you, and, and Will, go ahead and introduce yeah. yourself. Mary. Yeah. Steve, S T E V E, Oberon, O B E R O N. And I'm, I'm Will O'Neill, O B E I L L, Mayor of the City of Newport Beach. Mayor, do you have anything you want to say on camera? Oh, yeah. Uh, Newport Beach is a safe community, and we're mourning the loss of someone today, uh, a loss that never should have happened. Frankly, to hell with these guys. They came into our city knowing that they were going to commit crime, and a woman is dead today because of it. Um, it it's heartbreaking. It's a tragedy. Uh, I am so thankful for our overwhelming and immediate police response. I am so thankful for all of the other agencies that got involved on this to help us all the way up to Los Angeles to catch these creeps. But these are thugs, and every community is now dealing with this. We, can, we, we have to do better as a society because we cannot tolerate this. And so I just want to say again, thank you so much to our law enforcement community for catching them. Um, and now it's on, to, it's on to the investigation and it'll be on to prosecution. But none of that brings her back. And that's not okay. Um, what's your question for both of you? Same question. What's your message to shoppers who plan to continue shopping today? We'll be here tomorrow through the summer. Fashion Island does not experience crime like this. It just doesn't. Um, this is a, they, have a nor they have phenomenal security. Newport Beach Police Department is um, second to none frankly. Um, this is a, a staggering, stunning act um, that just doesn't happen here. Uh, so I can guarantee you that our friends in, at Fashion Island um, are going to be stepping up their, their security, stepping up their, their approach to this. Um, and, and frankly, I would have no problem coming back here with my family. Mayor, do you know the, the victim and the local residents of Newport uh, Beach? Because it's a victim and we haven't identified her yet, I'm not going to answer that one. Sorry. Uh, I don't know you brought this up, but were these suspects based out of Orange County or were they taken to Los Angeles County? Orange County? Uh, it's still an active investigation and I do not have that information yet. It's very frustrating. It's very sad when someone is injured, or in this case deceased, as a result of a crime. And we just do our best. Officers are very vigilant here in Newport Beach. 
and we, we do everything that we can to ensure the safety of the community and prevent crime. What you kind said, of charge? You said, you you said she was being dragged by the suspects, or they were trying to drag her. Were they trying to drag her into the vehicle, or just into a more open area to take her belongings? I don't know. I, that'll come out in the investigation. What kind of charge suspects? What kind of charge? Part, yeah. Right now, we have the 211, which is a robbery, and there'd be some aspect of, of murder.